Welcome back to Bathologic Classic HD. It's about 4 in the morning on day 7. We don't have any quests and we don't have any letters. So, since I don't have anything specific to do, what I'm going to do is go around town talking to important people, seeing if I can scrounge together some side quests or maybe even the main quest. Get a head start on it. And I'm also going to keep a lookout for food because I'm pretty hungry. I suppose we might as well just start from the left side of town and go to the right, so... I already came from Vlad's place, he doesn't have anything new for me. Um, let's go to Ava's place. Yeah, let's go to Ava's place and then we'll go to the Kane's residence. That sounds good. I'm feverish. What can it be? Whatever happens to me now, do not be surprised by anything. Just promise that you will never doubt me. What are you up to, Maria? Oh. Thought that was actually going to be a conversation. Aglaia never wanted a panacea to be made. But why? Who didn't want a panacea to be made? Great souls are not those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common, but those only who have greater designs. Yes. Why has Aglaia ordered to open the termitary? Is it clear of infection? Wait, Aglaia. Agla oh, uh, that's the Inquisitor, Aglaia. She's not happy about the panacea, and she's ordered the termitary opened. Hmm. Will I finally be able to go inside of the termitary myself? I would be scared to, but I very much am curious what's inside of there. Ah, vegetables. Whoa! Am I crazy or has that gotten way cheaper? 600. I'll take it. I'll take all of it. You know, I haven't talked to one of you people in a long time. Do you have anything new to say? Do you also have your own ideas about the origins of the epidemic? The tower oppresses the town. The town smothers the step. The step gnaws at the tower. That's the three different... <laughs> pieces. Too different to be put together. Like three minds fighting over a single head. If I'm not mistaken, this condition is considered to be... pathologic. Wait a minute. Is that the reason for the name of the game? Three different pieces. That can't be a coincidence, the fact that there's three different pieces and also three different ruling families, right? But who is the tower? Who is the town? And who is the step? Which... which family represents which? You're describing schizophrenia. Right. Exactly. Insanity. Absurdity. Hallucinations. The whole world is feeling feverish. And the war cannot come to an end, too. The front line is about to crumble. And then the enemy armies will rush to our southern lands. Perhaps you're right. Wait. Is that... Is that, is that one of the butchers? From the termitary? Has the termitary already been opened? Um... Are they gonna try to attack me? Or... They're all over the place. Oh. oh. Can't talk to them. They don't care. Who's gonna win? The butcher or the thief? 
Let's help him out. Oh, I didn't get the killing blow, so there's no loot. Damn. Oh, wow, this is a really aimless episode. Don't worry, I'll make sure something interesting happens before the end of it. Like, bandages. Maybe bandages will happen. Yes, bandages will happen. Exciting. Hold on, interesting piece of conversation here. Have you seen any of the bird mask people nearby? Executors. They took to hiding behind masks. Fancy that. Never mind that they seem to appear on every corner. So a bird face sneaks up to you. And then what? How do you know who's hiding behind it? It may be a friend, it may be a foe. It may be my death. Go figure. And who do they turn out to be most often? Opinions vary on that one. To hell with them. I spit on their accursed lot. They bring corpses and bad news. I do not want to know who would be interested in labor this hard. A performance, dang it. I've always hated theater. Still, I hope they are human. Why do they dress like that? An overall and a mask are good protection, they say. Tis true. I've seen a lot of dead men in my life. None of them were wearing an overall and a mask. But maybe the disease is indeed spread by vermin? What do you think, mate? I am not your mate. Goodbye. Okay, well, I just cut out some pointless wandering. Wasn't too interesting, I just went around, I went to these two food stores, bought a little bit of food. I just talked to Aspidy, who had absolutely nothing of interest to say. But... Something very interesting did just happen. I just received a letter. From Big Vlad. Dear Doctor, the termitary is open. Nothing bars your passage inside. I beg your forgiveness for having concealed the true purpose of the blockade. I am guilty indeed. But whatever I have done, I was acting in good faith and with good intentions. Oh my. I guess I'm going inside the termitary. I beg your forgiveness for having concealed the true purpose of the blockade. Yeah, I had no doubt in my mind that he was obviously up to something in the termitary, something that he didn't want people to know about. And I'm guessing that's why he wanted the hunchback to burn it down. So that all the evidence would be burned in the assault. But, since I stopped that... Well, there it is. It's still there. That's my guess, anyway. But then why did little Vlad want me to stop them from burning down the termitary? Does little Vlad hate big Vlad? Wants to see him punished? Did he, didn't little Vlad say it was a matter of honor? Killing the hunchback, stopping them from burning down the termitary. Hmm. Anyway, uh, alright, well, I'm right here. Let's go inside the termitary. I am scared. What's inside the termitary? What is in the termitary? Is it the source of the plague? Oh, another letter. 
Evian's farewell letter. My time has come. I need to purge every trace of the sacrilege. I have to prepare room and board for the new visitor. I want the miracle to happen. Farewell, my Daniel. Be happy. Everything is for the better. I never wish to die a better death. What? Um... Isn't she on my list of bound? She is. I need to protect her. Do I need to go to Ava's place right now to try to stop her? She's on the other side of town, though. <sighs> Gonna make a perm save here in case I regret this or something. Let's keep going to the termitary. Hope Ava doesn't do whatever she's gonna do before I get there. Uh-oh. Where's the entrance to this place? Um... I thought nothing was supposed to bar my entry. The lock seems like it's barring my entry. Nothing bars your passage inside. Can I go down here? Invisible wall. Nothing bars your passage, my ass. I don't get it. Okay, then. Uh... What do I do now? <laughs> Is there another entrance to the dormitory? Hmm. Let me see if there is another entrance to the termitary. Alright, well, I just cut out a bunch more walking. I walked from the termitary looking for another entrance, like up north here. Didn't find anything. Yet, yeah, this really is the only entrance, I'm pretty damn sure of it. Uh, so I was starting to walk towards Big Vlad's place to talk with him about the termitary. Maybe I have to ask him about it before he'll actually allow me to go inside. And along the way, I just received another letter. The Inquisitor's Orders. Bachelor D. Dankovsky, personal delivery, confirmation upon receipt. I have studied the materials you have collected. I insist that you visit me to receive further orientation. You may find me at the cathedral. At the cathedral, that's what I thought, because she was at the cathedral in the video that played. Okay. Huh. I wish I went there when I was talking with the canes. I was so freaking close. Alright, talk with Big Vlad first. Oh, hey, Plague Rat. Talk with Big Vlad first, then go see Ava, see if I can hopefully save her. Nothing to say. Alright. Okay, to Ava's place then. is low after the fight, right? Oh no, it's actually not too low. Oh, that's right, I reloaded my, my game. 
So I didn't have that fight with that thief. Oh my god, the plague rat hit me. You bastard. Did I just receive another letter? The changeling's letter. My god, I'm getting a lot of letters. The background's so bright, hold on. There we go. Ava stood on the edge of the balustrade. She raised her hands up into the air and stepped forward. The wind did not carry her. She did not fly. The miracle did not happen. Okay, so she tried to kill herself, which is not good, but she didn't. Which is good. I know why Ava did what she did. Would you like me to tell you? Aglaia is not the new guest. It is not the pestilence in the cathedral that is blasphemous. The true blasphemy is your negligence. You were meant to achieve victory yesterday. You did not. Perhaps your latest muse will do better than the late one. She was setting up the place in your heart where the new guest will stay. Put your mind to it when at leisure. What? True blasphemy is your negligence. My negligence? How have I been negligent in any way? Perhaps your latest muse will do better than the late one. What, what muse? What? Ava is still alive, right? Right? Ava? What? Uh, who are you? Uh, uh, uh huh? Is this my latest muse? Ion. Or Aeon something. Finally, you're here. There's been a disaster. Have you heard already? My master told me to fetch you immediately. Where's Ava? Are you alone? Is your woman not here? Uh, evidently. Hurry up and go to Andre then. He needs your help to make her come back. To take her away from the worms. She went to them of her own accord. But he said that was because she's gone mad. Okay, at first I was thinking I had maybe failed the quest, and I'd failed to protect someone that I had to protect. I'd failed to protect one of the bound, because I maybe took too long getting to her, even though I was pretty fast. But given that I received the letter right before getting to her place, I was thinking, you know, I could have been a couple minutes faster. I could have been fast enough to get there before the letter arrived. So maybe I failed, but maybe the letter was triggered by me being near the house. Maybe I could not have stopped her? Because it looks like I'm about to get a quest to actually go save her. So, this this is good. So he knows where Ava is. I need to know what he wanted. Uh, what he wanted you to tell me. And I need to know the exact words. Okay, I've tried to avoid saying Oinion in the past because I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing it. And it just sounds kind of weird and funny when I say it, but I don't think I can avoid that this time. Don't be angry with me, Onion. Andre told me to make a dash for the Onion's place as quickly as I could to check if his woman was there. If I found her, 
I was to tell her that he was coming and make sure she doesn't harm herself. If I do not find her, but find the onion, he told me to fetch you. He said you two would have to face trouble. Okay. I don't understand a thing. Neither do I. But Andre does. Help him, so that he doesn't get himself killed. He is unarmed. He gave his weapon to the changeling. Then he told me to run here, run as fast as I could. And so I did, like a leaf on the wind. Like the wind itself. That's how fast I was. Gave his weapon to the changeling. I'm gonna write that down just in case that's important. Changeling has his weapon. Of course, I don't know where the changeling actually is. Now that's just great. Visit Andre in the pub. Yes, and I should go there right away just in case she does kill herself. Uh, I don't want her to kill herself just because I took too damn long to get there, but then again, I'm supposed to visit the Inquisitor and the Cathedral is right here, so I kinda have to do that. Yep. Why is she calling me Master? What the... I'm not your Master. Quest. So it's a side quest. Ava is no more. Where is Ava? I'm not the only one worried by her absence. Andre Stamaton is completely beside himself. I wonder who told him of her disappearance. Alright, to the Inquisitor. This is probably going to set up the main quest for the day. I'm going to bet that she's going to ask me to investigate the termitary. Hello. I see you have some... pets. Wonderful pets. Pets. I am not your enemy. We'll strike an alliance against a common foe and justice will prevail. Daniel Denkovsky. Very pleased to meet you. It's not just courtesy. I'm speaking from my heart. I've already had the honor of meeting you, but I doubt you remember. When was it? I attended your lecture. You demonstrated a reanimated lady. Three years ago at Lamarca's. I even took your autograph. The girl in a long shirt. Do you remember? I asked you about the glassy lips, too. Oh, that's some twist of fate. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance too, Aglaya. However, back then you introduced yourself as... Estella. Stella... Karstlich. To be frank, I came by out of sheer curiosity. I had neither a mission nor any mercenary interests. But you did make a strong impression on me. Thank you. But it isn't sheer curiosity that has driven you here, is it? Indeed, let's get to the point. Your mission was to find a certain way to destroy the enemy completely. All I had to do was implement your solution. So I've looked through your reports, and they've confirmed my greatest fear. Yes, I've lost. You've won. Almost. I'm very happy that you didn't find the disease carrier yesterday. Is that so? Events have taken an unexpected turn, Dankovsky. We have a lot to discuss and a lot to do. I'll be brief. All this time, someone has been trying to A. Kill you B. Deceive you and C. Use your authority and passion for the truth to achieve criminal goals. Would you like to know more? Very much so. You came here on your own accord, didn't you? Fanatica is in ruins. Your last hope was to draw publicity, to get a sensation, find something shocking. 
an ostensive proof of your theory. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is all just my interpretation. You are correct so far. Then, you come across this allegedly coincidental letter from Isidore Barak. And here you are. So timely, isn't it? And, as luck would have it, the only local medic dies. He didn't die of the disease, did he? That's what I've been told. He was murdered. But luck is on the side of the public. You are in this remote area, and so you are ordered to come back with the shield, so to speak. Victory is the only option that's been left for you. It is rather coincidental, isn't it? Was that contrived, too? I don't know. I'm sure I have a lot more interesting details to find out. Will you help me? Here's where my own curiosity chimes in. Who are you loyal to? Oh, you'll find that out soon enough. Just let me compile some kind of image of you in my head, okay? Uh, what? You'll find that out soon enough. If that's not suspicious, I don't know what is. You've given yourself away already. I haven't. It can all be a trap, a double play. We Inquisitors are quite cunning. You ought to know that. Relax. Everything I told could turn out to be nothing more than a part of my plan, a provocation. What if, in fact, I'm loyal to the powers that be? Hmm? Why are you asking me? Uh, I'm not. It's just my way of coping with grief. I need a smoke so badly. Yes, you're a dangerous partner indeed. Premonitions rarely fail me. You have been sent to fight an adversary that inherently cannot be beaten. In foolish hopes that a miracle would happen, and your outstanding mind would stumble upon that one in a million chance. And just so that you wouldn't give up, they kept insisting that the adversary must be destroyed. Do you see how insidious the powers that be are? Hmm. So, if I'm not wrong... If I'm not wrong, what she is saying is that the powers that be actually contrived to send me here and stage this whole thing. They staged this whole thing to get me here, get me trapped in this town, get me to... get me preoccupied with fighting something that cannot be beaten. Yeah, and to make sure that I wouldn't give up, she's saying that they kept insisting that the adversary must be destroyed. They kept stringing me along, keeping me occupied. Why? What's in it for them to keep me occupied? Perhaps when they've said that if I do a good job here, they'll give me free reign to do my research and that everything will be okay back at Fanatica or whatever, whatever it's called. Maybe they're lying when they say that. Maybe they're ruining the Bachelor's life's work. And they just need time. So they've contrived all of this simply to preoccupy him while they do that. Huh. That's possible. It's possible. But why? The motives are becoming less and less comprehensible to me by the day. Indeed, it's complicated. They will become even less comprehensible when I tell you that I have been ordered to preserve this settlement at any cost, and accepting any losses. And yet, they deployed army detachments here. And now for the interesting part. Do you know who is in command? Do you even know what army I'm talking about? I'm all ears. The commander is Alexander Bloch, the war hero the mind and hand behind the upcoming military reform, the Karstov Fords, the Broken Front. You must have heard of them. What? Huh. 
Okay, running with her idea that the powers that be are behind this, contriving everything. I wonder what the powers that be... I wonder what the opinion of the powers that be is of the military reform. Could it be they don't like it and they're sending Alexander Block here? Who's the person behind the reform? In the hopes that he too will preoccupy himself, waste his time here, perhaps die? Is that the plan? Get everybody that stands against what they want into one plague-infected town and have them all die? Why didn't they find a simpler man for this mission? It's not a sanitary army. They have neither the special equipment, nor even any weapons appropriate for the task. As a matter of fact, it's just two artillery regiments that have been marching towards the front line after performing successful maneuvers, and a hastily assigned company of sanitary flamethrower corps. Or corpse, how you pronounce that. Don't you find that strange? Yes, that is very strange. So they're going to start burning the town? Yes, quite. Ring any bells? Any stunning similarities that spring to your mind? Uh, no. This option block reminds me of myself. No, he doesn't. And of you, I suppose? What? How? I haven't tried to burn anything to the ground or launch any artillery. No. Isn't it convenient that Block just happened to be here by sheer coincidence, just conducting maneuvers nearby? A visionary of military science, loathed by the entirety of our military's top brass. He personally received the train carrying a new long-range cannon that was being transported to the front by way of the Northwestern Railroad. And now... Okay, so just to pause for a second. A visionary of military science, loathed by the entirety of our military's top brass. Right, so he's behind the military reform and it seems like the... The elders don't want it to happen. The old guard doesn't want things to change. So it's safe to say the powers that be probably don't want it either. Yes, it's uncannily similar to... Indeed, we all fell into the same trap. Hmm. I guess that's how she ended up showing here, showing up here too. If only I could get even with them. Indeed, all this time there have been several watchers active in the town. At least three are known. They kept numbers, wrote down their observations, visited homes unbeknownst to the town's rulers, disguised as corpse carriers. It was they, one of them, who sent you those daily letters. The corpse carriers, huh? That's the people with the talons for heads, right? One of them? What do you mean? It means that there is a traitor and a liar among them. They intentionally distorted the information, knowing that sooner or later it was going to find its way into my hands. But we'll get to that later. What? They knew of the epidemic before it began? I don't think so. Otherwise, they'd have been better prepared. I have no doubt that they are desperate to preserve this little town. No, they didn't know what exactly was going to happen here. And that's the most mind-boggling part. But they were ready for trouble. All of their emissaries came adequately informed. Informed of what? I want to study the Watcher's reports, but to even obtain them, I will require your help. I suspect they're under strict orders to keep me completely in the dark, just as they did you, Bachelor, only a few days ago. But why? To make our bright minds derive the correct solution independently of any outside sources. That's the reason. So, if I send someone for them, or personally go to collect their reports, they will destroy them. They may even opt to go into hiding or commit suicide. So, I ask you to act on my behalf. Hmm. 
If they won't give their reports to you, why would they give them to me? Your mission is over, and their lives are in danger. I believe they will try to escape my all-seeing eye before today is over. Uh, very well. How will I find them? They've had to walk around a lot, to observe, to examine. They must have the appearance of those who do the dirtiest work here, in elaborate disguise. I predict that they're going to crawl out into the daylight today, no matter where they've been hiding before. Wait. Well, my first thought was it must be the butchers, right? Because they've just started crawling out today. But before today, aside from the escaped butchers, there's been no butchers just going around the streets. Butchers would look completely out of place. It couldn't have been the butchers, right? The appearance of those who do the dirtiest work here. Could be the butchers. Could be the corpse carriers. Probably the corpse carriers. Since I was pretty sure before that she was talking specifically about the corpse carriers. The ones with the talons for heads. Hmm. Where could they have been hiding? How should I know? I've only been here for a few hours, whereas you've been here for a week. Ask the local rulers. I would suppose they're spread out evenly throughout the town. One was certainly active here in the stone yard, one in the knots, and the last one in earth. Okay, so there's one in every section of town. You're really well informed, aren't you? <laughs> well, she's an inquisitor, of course she is. Anything more to say? You found out everything I needed you to. That will do. Cheer up. These things happen. What are you going to do while I'm looking for the Watchers? I'll interrogate the members of the ruling families, and many others who I deem worthy of attention. Today is Local Elite Day. Our previous conversation ended quite abruptly when we were just getting to the most interesting part. The Source. I know. Yes, I was going to touch on that. With your kind permission, let us put that conversation off until tomorrow. Before we start the search, I need to get the fullest picture of what's happened here. So right now, the priority is to interrogate the Bound and collect the Watcher's reports. Hmm. Interesting, I can ask for a favor. I don't know what favor I'm asking for, but let's go with it. I wish to ask a favor of you. I've expended significant efforts convincing everyone to stay at home and not venture outside. The very air in these streets is deadly. At times, I've risked my life just to avoid a worse risk. Some favor? Do you expect me to go door to door like some delivery girl? I'm not afraid of the disease, but it does not become me. I speak to you in a friendly tone because I want us to trust each other, but to everyone else I'm an inquisitor. Have you forgotten what kind of position that is? In that case, please make sure that any person your people take outside takes immune drugs. Fine, I'll see to that. In fact, I intend to liquidate the Olgimsky's medicine stockpile and personally oversee the distribution. Huh. I can give the Olgimskis a little bit of help and ask her to leave some for the Olgimskis' personal use. Do I want to do that? I kind of hate the Olgimskis. Well, just because I hate them doesn't mean they deserve to die from the plague. Just leave some for their personal use. What? I've been told that either Karminsky or Orf was coming. Are you disappointed? No, we were expecting a Punisher, and instead... An angel descended? No. Personally for you, at best. Wait, 
personally for you at best, but I don't know what that means. My disposition is fearsome, which you will have ample opportunity to observe. There's lots of blood to spill, but I'm positive, and this is what makes me different from Karminsky, that I can keep the body count to a necessary minimum. Oh, what a good person you are. She's already hung, what, like half a dozen people, just based on that little cutscene that we saw at the beginning of the day? That comes with a line of work, I suppose. I am. Okay. We have our marching orders for the day. The powers that be had dispatched at least three watchers to spy on me, to gather any valuable information they could find. The town is crawling with serpents in the skin of the executors. I should get acquainted with them. Collecting the reports for the Inquisitor might be a good place to start. Yes. So there's one in every section of town. I believe, uh, I think this is the stone yard, this is the knot, and this is the earth. So there's one in every section. Alright, well we've got our work cut out for us. She said speak with the ruling people. Speak of the ruling families, and they might be able to help me identify where they are. Although, there's also marks on the map. I don't know if that's literally telling me the Watcher is exactly here, or just that they're in this general area. But regardless, I think I'll save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I am going to try to track down the Watchers, gather the reports, and I also urgently need to go over to Andre to try to save Ava.